Yo, yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Devon Terrell in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon tutorial, I'll be showing you guys a plugin that I feel is a must have Neutron 3 by Isotope. It's an incredible plugin that is now in my workflow for sure that I'm so mad I didn't know about before. Let's just get right to it. Okay. So, long story short, I'm going to play you a piano sound. Um, I'm gonna play it for you without it and then with it and let you, uh, and then kind of figure out and show you what it does. So without first, listen close. With. Mega huge difference. I literally got what I wanted out of the piano. Instead of that dull, muddier sound, I got this brighter sound, but it still has a bit of the body and it, it, it you can hear the ring of the piano come out. It brought out the elements in the piano that I really wanted and it's just one plugin that did this. Let's get right to it. Okay, so let's open up Neutron 3. And if you look at Neutron 3, it's based off a lot of modules. So within Neutron 3, there is an EQ, there's a compressor, there's an exciter, there's a sculptor, which is what we're gonna be focusing on today in this particular one. There's even a button that says Mix Assistant that you press it and it'll create a mix for your instrument, for your vote, for anything that you want, it'll create a mix. Uh, it's insane, it's an insane plug. But today we'll be just be focusing on what I used it for, for the sculptor and get right from it. There's even a preset bank for acoustic bass, electric bass, uh, kick drums, snares, drums, etc., cetera, uh, keys, orchestral, even podcast. There's even a podcast setting. Um, synths, a bunch of different presets that you can play around to kind of figure out how you are gonna use this plugin. But today we're gonna focus on what I used and that was just this one module I used called Sculptor. Okay. So this is the Sculptor module. And when you look at the Sculptor module, you see this thing right here that says 80.5 and basically, the higher you crank it, it'll say this is how much in, how intense you want us to apply processing and backing it off, it'll give less of intensity on the processing. Um, then you have the tone, which I've noticed uh, it gets from darker to uh, uh, brighter, it, depending on which way you go. And then you have speed, and that's basically how fast do you want this processing to happen? Stay with me, this is all gonna make sense. So the best way for this to make sense is I'm gonna let you look at the graphical interface and see what's actually happening. Look closely. Okay, if you look closely at that graphical interface, you can see that there's some spikes that are happening to the, towards the top. Basically, it's like the plugin is analyzing it and bringing up the upper harmonics of the actual piece. But at the same time, it's bringing down the lower, lower end of that. And that has to do with me shaping the tone knob, the speed knob, and the intensity. So it kind of works like a multi-band compressor in a sense. When I say I want more of this type of tone in here, I can basically crank it up. And what it'll do is instead of tampering with the volume so much, it'll make sure that it attenuates certain parts to bring out what you're actually looking for in the plugin. It's really, really sick how it does it too. Um, and I've been using this for all my instruments now. So check this out, look closely, and I'll give you an idea of what it's doing. So if you look real close at that, you can see that the lower end stuff is being attenuated as the upper stuff is being raised and boosted. And it's really, really dope because now what I'm doing is it's working like a multi-band compressor. Um, I'm gonna finick with the knobs, I'm gonna show you, and basically I want you to get an idea of what it's doing. So basically from it, I can choose, I want the brighter sound, or do I want the tone to be darker? What do I want to bring out of this? And that's the beautiful thing about it. When you approach this, you can ask yourself, what do I wanna bring out of this instrument? And for this particular instrument, I want it a little bit more bite, I want a little more excitement. So this is how I went about it. So I'm going to mess around with these knobs so you can get an idea of what each one is doing. So look closely. Cool. 
cool. So you see, as I bring that knob up, the actual processing intensifies. And that's basically giving you, a, giving you an idea of how much processing you can have. It's very flexible in that sense. Let's move on over to the tone knob. Let's see what the tone knob does. Okay. Let's put it to zero for now. Right here, be fine. Okay, listen closely. So you can see what the tone knob does. Basically, it just lets you decide, it's asking you which one do you want us to attack? Do you want us to attack the lower register or the upper register? And basically that tone will give you a darker tone or a brighter tone. That's what it, I, it perceives to me in my ear. And it's really dope, that makes it really flexible. Now granted, you have that tone that you could choose it to be dark or brighter, and then you have the intensity on the other side, which says how much of it you want. So you can really fine tune this thing to bring out the best in certain instruments or sounds that you have. And that's basically what I use it for. I'm gonna show you one more, and that's the speed control. Let's check out what the speed control does. So what the speed control does is it, it, it kind of controls the attack and release of the actual processing. So you can kind of pick and choose how you want it to feel. When I brought it a little a, a little lower, I noticed that it kind of breathed a little bit more. Felt like it was a little bit more of a, a, of, a of, of movement to the entire piece as opposed to when I had it fast. It felt like it was like a, like a really hard compressor kind of in a sense. But those are those three knobs and you can really fine tune it. And it's, it's, it's amazing what it does to these instruments in these songs. So long story short, that's Neutron 3, just the sculpts as far as what I use it for on all my instruments now, for bringing out the guitars, for bringing out the pianos, for bringing out even vocals, which I'll show in another tutorial, and that's it. So. If you like this tutorial, please comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you hit me in the comments uh, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, share with your friends. Make sure you follow us at Help Me Devon on Instagram. And um, yeah, I'll make sure the plugin, the link for this plugin is also in the description. So if you want this plugin, please just go to the link in the description, get it for yourself. I highly recommend it. It's really, really dope. I use it in all of my tutorials and you'll see them in upcoming tutorials. Trust me, you'll see them. Um, and, uh, until next time, you guys.